So my wife Rachel's birthday was last week, and for it, I wanted to get her something that she really wanted, but would totally not be expecting. Now we've talked about it before, and I knew that she really wanted a Peloton bike. Now despite all the backlash Peloton received for their holiday ads, I knew this was something that my wife would really love. Here's the thing, it's crazy expensive. I know there are cheaper alternatives out there, and this is a luxury purchase, I know. So at the beginning of August, I placed the order. After a pair of shoes, a promo code, and taxes, I spent $2,485.64. I know, I know. So I thought it'd be fun to focus on the Peloton stock when trading options to see if I can earn enough to pay for the bike. I'm also gonna take into account the 30% I would set aside for taxes from normal stock market gains. So my goal for this video is to make $3,550 trading only Peloton stock options. Now the bike isn't scheduled to get here until October 4th, so I'm gonna set that as my deadline, and I really hope I finish ahead of schedule. Yes, this video is gonna be ridiculous, I know. Yes, I could lose money doing this experiment. No, I don't think this is easily replicable, and no, I don't recommend you doing this either. This is simply to challenge myself to see if I can pull it off. Now the stock has been on a tear the last few months with more and more people working out from home instead of going to gyms. Peloton has seen an influx of orders with it taking six to eight weeks for them to deliver the product to their customers. Peloton will announce earnings after market close on September 10th. So I'm gonna start off by buying some stock options leading up to the earnings and then sell off likely before the September 10th. Okay, so one thing I forgot to mention is I'm going to be using a couple of different brokerage accounts for this challenge. I have a TD Ameritrade account and a Robinhood account. And since both accounts have less than $25,000 in them, I am limited by how many day trades I can do. So this way, by utilizing both accounts, I have twice as many day trades in case I need to use them. And also if this challenge doesn't work out for me, those losses will be spread out over two accounts. And I don't know, it just makes me feel better. And another thing, if you don't know anything about stock options, I did make a video for beginners breaking down all the terminology and how you make money trading stock options. So you can watch that video. And obviously with a trading challenge like this, it does take money to make money. In this case, I do have some funds available in my brokerage account where I can use those to buy options. Whereas if you only had a couple hundred dollars in a brokerage account, that wouldn't be enough to buy Peloton options really. So that is the other caveat to this video. So to kick things off on Thursday, August 27th, I bought three options of Peloton expiring on September 18th with a strike price of $73. Each contract was $565, costing me a total of $1,695. Over in Robinhood, I grabbed the same contract a little later and the price was a little cheaper, and I got that contract for $535. On Friday, the very next day, Peloton jumped up, so I went ahead and sold off the Robinhood contract for $680. I also sold off two of my three contracts in TD Ameritrade for $705 a piece. I now have one contract left, which I'll likely hang on to for a little bit longer. I also grabbed two more contracts over in Robinhood for a strike price of $80, and those cost me $580 a piece. It's Saturday now, so there's nothing I can do but wait until Monday when the market opens. Okay, so I sold my remaining Peloton contract in my TD Ameritrade account for $905. So the entire trade of those three contracts netted me a profit of $620 total. Subtract that from my goal of $3,550, and I am now $2,930 away from my goal. And then over in Robinhood, I sold off one of my contracts for $960. I also decided to open a few more positions. So I bought three more contracts with the same expiration and strike of $90. These were $540 a piece. Let's see how they do. Analysts at Goldman Sachs and Cowan boosting their price targets for Peloton. The stock catching 11 price target bumps in the past month as shares have rallied more than 200% this year. All right. Wednesday morning, let's talk Peloton. Well, I feel like I'm getting ridiculously lucky. Analysts raised the price target of Peloton from $58 to $105, and Peloton opened at a new high today. So I went ahead and sold three contracts that I bought for $1,620 at 6.31 this morning. So Pacific time, it was right when the market opened. I sold that for $2,997 for a $1,377 profit. Combined with yesterday's profit of $620, I'm now at $1,997 in profit. Now over on my Robinhood account, I sold the remaining option for $1,440, locking in $1,385 in profit over there. This altogether brings my total profit to $3,382. I am now just $168 away from my goal 
which is pretty crazy. So Peloton started dumping off this morning along with the other tech stocks, but this should give me ample opportunity to find a re-entry point to get back into Peloton and try to make that $168. So I'm gonna keep an eye on the chart and look for an entry point. Okay, so I just bought four more contracts of Peloton. Those were $730 each. Um, but right now the share price has continued to drop. So I'm gonna average down, which means buy more contracts at a lower price to bring your overall cost basis, meaning the average of what you spent on those shares or options or whatever, it brings that average down. So I'm gonna pick up four more at $683. Okay, so now the average that I spent on these eight contracts is $706. So I'm gonna keep a close eye on Peloton and see if I can just finish out this challenge today. Okay, so I'm up $368 on these eight contracts so I can close it out and officially end my Peloton challenge. But that just seems way too boring. I truly didn't expect to reach my goal so quickly. So I think I might just let these ride out a little bit longer and see what happens. All right, so I'm a little tired. I'm not a morning person. I sold two instead of four. So let me sell two more. Okay, so I sold two at $750 each and then I sold two more at $751 each. So that gives me $178 of profit, beating my goal by $10. Pause for a victory sip. Okay, now I still have four more contracts and those could turn against me for sure and I could lose money. Um, or Peloton could continue to boom and I could make a lot more money. So I'm just gonna let them ride out at least until tomorrow. Okay, so you may be wondering why I keep selling and then rebuying like a similar position with Peloton. And let me explain. On something like this where I'm filming the process and I have this goal in mind, I'm being extra conservative with the trades and I want to make sure to lock in profit as I go along because a trade can easily turn red against you if you're not careful. So if we take a look at the very first Peloton options contract we bought that had the strike price of $73, those were each $565. Today, that same contract is going for $1,900. So if I held on to them until today and sold them off, I would have made over $4,000 in profit. So looking back, yeah, that was obviously the simplest and easiest way to reach this goal. But this is all looking at it from the future. At that point, we have no idea what Peloton is gonna do. I had no idea that it would jump up from the $70 range to the high $80 range. So once I sell a position, I can then reassess the market and Peloton and see how they're both performing. And then I can find another entry point if Peloton takes a little dip or depending on what all is going on, I can then reassess, I can pick a later expiration date, different strike price, etc. So by taking profit as I go along, it's just a really good way to keep my account green. All right, it's been quite a few days, so let me give you an update. First of all, Peloton announced a more premium, more expensive version of the bicycle that I bought and they lowered the price of the actual model that I bought by like $350. But luckily they preemptively refunded me that $350 plus tax difference. So right now at this point, I actually have the bike paid for, but I'm going to leave my goal the same and anything extra over that purchase price amount that I make can be used to pay for the monthly subscription that you have to pay to use Peloton classes. So anyways, the market has been correcting for the last few days, resulting in a sell-off for most of the tech sector, and that includes Peloton. So on Friday, we're leading up to the Labor Day three-day weekend. I did not want to be holding Peloton, so I sold off my last share for a loss of $173. Okay, so I'm in the middle of editing this video and I realized I forgot to record me selling three of those four contracts. I did that on September 3rd for a small loss. I sold them for $685 each. This is why you wanna systematically take profits so you don't end up losing money on a trade that was green a day before. So today I bought two more contracts of Peloton expiring in October with a strike price of $100 for $815 each. So since there is a lot of optimism and hype around Peloton, it did have a pretty good day today. At the high of the day, I was up about $700 on this trade, but I do wanna swing it overnight, at least until tomorrow, maybe even the next day, and see what happens with it, because I think there is still some upside left on this. At about 90 minutes before close today, it did sell off a bit. So right now I'm around break even, I'm up about 4% on these two contracts. Hopefully Peloton will continue to rally through earnings. My plan is to sell the contracts off before market close on Thursday because playing earnings can be very treacherous because even if they have a good earnings report, 
the stock could fall, or even if the stock doesn't fall, your options contract could lose a lot of value due to volatility. That's it for today. I'll check back in later. So right at market open, Peloton stock shot up, hit a new high of $98, but I decided to hold. I wanted to hold, see how it performed throughout the rest of the day and into earnings. And it actually started selling off a little bit going into market close today, but I kept averaging down. So I bought more contracts when the price went down. Right now I have six uh, contracts. And I'm down about 8.25% on them or $402 total. I'm hoping that it pays off tomorrow, but they do expire in October. So there is a little bit of time on there. So it, I will still have some extrinsic value to the contract. So um, hopefully we'll be good. All right, so Peloton just announced their earnings. They beat expectations. They earned 27 cents per share, and the estimate was around 10 cents per share. And the stock price is up after hours, but it still has not beat the $98 high it had earlier in the day. So right now it's around $95 after hours. And I'm gonna listen into the call and see what they have to say, and we'll see how the stock price reacts. Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining us to discuss our fourth quarter and full fiscal year results. You're welcome. What a remarkable year it's been. All right, so nothing that interesting happened during the investor call. The stock has pretty much just traded sideways. So I'm glad they beat earnings, but it still doesn't seem like it's moved the stock price that much. I was hoping um, we'd see something more like the Zoom earnings where it shot up after hours. It's possible I'll lose a lot of money on these contracts tomorrow, um, but we'll wait and see. Okay, before I talk about Friday, I did forget that on Tuesday, I did buy a call for $960 over in Robinhood, and then I sold it yesterday for $1,105 for a total of $145 profit. So you can see after the earnings call yesterday, Peloton shot up considerably, but then it did start selling off at open today. So I decided to go ahead and sell four of my six contracts when I was up almost 26% at $996 each. And then a minute or so later is still selling off. So I decided to sell my last two contracts for $783 each. For those six contracts, I paid a total of $4,872 and I sold them for $5,550, which nets me a $678 profit, thereby completing my challenge and a little extra. So overall holding through earnings did work out for me, but it was pretty risky. Throughout this challenge, I ended up profiting a total of $4,723 beating my goal by $1,173, which combined with my $350 refund from Peloton, it should pay for my subscription at $39 a month for the next like three years. So now I just have to wait for the bike to arrive. So I just wanna reinforce that I definitely did get lucky with some of these plays and it's not something that you should just jump into blindly. Always do your own due diligence before entering trades. Always have an established exit strategy in place and try not to hold through earnings like I did because you can get crushed and lose a lot of money that way. But a lot of times leading up to earnings, there is opportunity to make money like I did. That's it for this video. See you guys in the next one.